Hey, Raider Nation, what's up, y'all? This not gonna be a long live, okay? I put out, I think, like two shorts so far. I was gonna do another one, but I want to do that one in the daytime because it's gonna be like a skit on somebody. But I gotta try to, okay, stay laughing, okay, to keep from crying, all right? So, y'all know I, you know, been out or whatever celebrating. My birthday with my kids and, you know, the whole weekend or whatever. And when we got back home last night, um, we got back home last night and Brashe let Juno out. And when she went back to go to the door looking for Jen to let her back in, she had found, she had found Girlie on the front on the, uh, on my little couch up on the pillows and she ran back in the house and was like my oh my god something happened to girly she bleeding out of her eyes and out of her nose or whatever and i was like what so i hurried up got myself together and i ran you know outside or whatever to the porch and show sure as shit okay you know how sometimes kids can exaggerate things so i wasn't thinking like it was to that magnitude so i run out there or whatever and i'm like what the hell happened her eyes were shut okay all of this mucus and blood and all of this stuff was rolling down her eyes or whatever and um you could see her nose was bust wide open all the skin like around the front part of her nose it was completely gone and her 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 uh her her fur looked at a little ruffle and wet down the bottom part and that's not girly like she keep herself up like girly keep herself clean like her fur be so freaking soft right so I'm like oh my god what happened so I run in here and I get bill and I'm like yo you got to come out the front with me. Like, I don't know what happened to Girlie, but she out on the front or whatever on the uh, on the couch. And she's out there bleeding. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the hell is going on. So, Bill come out there. He pick her up, you know, in the whole pillow and everything, right? And we bring her in the house and I sit her over in this corner part right here and I prop the pillows and stuff up because I got another little chair that sit right here I call it my nosy chair right here by my window right in the dining room so I sit her in that little leather chair and I put the pillows and stuff on the chair or whatever to make it real comfortable for and I'm trying to like look and see like what happened or whatever right so We've been watching her, you know, through the night, and now today come, and I had to, uh, I had to leave. I had to go take care of a lot of stuff today, and when I get back here, I'm looking for her, right? So I'm like, where girly at? Where girly at? Cause she wasn't, um, she couldn't like, she got up, like, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't the normal, you know what I'm saying? The way how she would get up, run off, hop, you, you know how cats do, right? She was, uh, like, pulling herself, like, we had to literally, like, try to scoop across the floor if she's trying to move, right? So, I'm like, where's she at? So, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking all through here, looking all through here. I don't see her. So, I'm saying, like, I know she didn't get out. You know, and um, go outside because she wouldn't have been able to see because her eyes are were, were like fucking blood shot, like drawn together, right? And I was telling Bill like I'm gonna give it a day or so and try to see like if we can work on her ourselves or whatever. And if it don't turn around, I was going to take her to the vet, right? So I'm in here, I'm looking for, her, looking for, her, you know, to make sure she okay. I find girly behind the couch that I got in my room, okay, up by my window. She had went behind there, and she did, y'all hear? Yeah, it hurt me to my heart. I don't want to cry no more because I already cried. Um, I'm going to bury her tonight or whatever in the yard. Um, 
it just hurt me real bad. And Girlie didn't get in no fight with another cat. Girlie has gotten into fights around here with these cats. And she, okay, had fucked them up. All right, she always a lead the pack on whipping their ass. It don't matter if it's females or male. I believe somebody caught my cat because if you could have seen what I seen, right? Uh, it looked like somebody took their foot and just bust her face wide open. Okay, her her face and everything has swelled up and blew up, right? And like I said, man, I am truly going to miss girly. Everybody <laughs> already know I have never been a cat person in my whole life. Okay. I would go around child telling people that I was allergic to cats and wasn't allergic to nothing. I just didn't never do cats. But it was something special about girly. And I'm glad that, you know, man, my kids got the time to spend with her as much as we did. I had her. Since um I found her, well Bill did down at my old house, and I just rescued her and I kept her. And um, you can just feel the change, you know, in the house or whatever with her not being here. You just never know how much you're gonna miss somebody or love somebody until they're gone. And even though it's an animal, I truly fucking am going to miss girly, okay. I'm going to miss that whore. I'm just, I got to say it one more time here because it, baby, I, because she the only person that's going, she was the only person that were really, okay, answer to the shit. All right. We had a crazy ass relationship here, but I love that cat, man. I truly did. And, um, I've been asking around in the neighborhood since I got back today. Did anybody see anything strange or out of whack? Or did they see, you know, anybody messing with her? Because everybody around here knows that that's my cat. And even if girly has kittens and I happen to keep one, everybody knows where the cats belong to. They belong back to here, mine anyway. So I only got your girly daughter that she just had, which I named her Thursday, right? She's like a fawn, like a grayish fawn blue, okay? And that's all I got, okay? Thank God that I decided to keep that one, you know, because I wouldn't even have nothing left to remember me of a girly. You know, um, it's crazy that, you know, she gone. And I don't even know what happened to her. It just looked like she might have trusted somebody because Girlie was a really good cat. And it looks like to me she might have trusted somebody. And whoever she might have trusted, they fucked my cat up until they killed my cat, man. Um, I'm just, it, it, it's really fucked up. I'm holding back, you know, from crying on this upload because it's... My mind is just racing and I just tried to keep my mind off of this for so I ain't got to be okay in here boohooing and crying and okay snotting. But I'm really going to miss my fucking cat, man. And whoever brutally attacked her up here in this neighborhood, yeah, it's really fucked up. Because and anybody know from the beginning, that's JK, you know. One thing that I loved about Girlie was how, you know, her relationship was with Jay. And how I could see, you know, she brought him out of his shell more and more. And I'm really going to miss her, man. I'm really going to miss. I'm trying not to cry, man. I'm really going to miss. I'm really going to miss her, man. And I cannot believe that somebody fucking beat my fucking cat like this, man. I just. I can't believe it. And she gone. She gone, man. And um, I came in here. And like I said, we were looking for a Brochet founder. And she was stiff as a boy. And the only thing I could think was like, I just thank God that even though she couldn't see last night, she could barely fucking walk last night. She somehow, okay made her way back here 
Okay? And so we could find her, you know? So her last, you know, hours or whatever, you know, we tried to make her feel as comfortable as we could. But at least she got to spend it with her family, you know, instead of just dying out on the street. Like I said, I'm still trying to find out what happened to her, like up in this area because somebody knows something. I can't wait to go because I've never, like I said, I know things can happen anywhere. It doesn't matter where you at, where you live at, but I have never experienced, okay, somebody beating the living crap out of an animal. Like, this is, this is crazy, all right? And, um, like I said, not just crazy, but devastating because people don't even understand, like, I don't, you know... You're not going to feel a way about my cat the way how I'm going to feel about my cat because she belonged here to us. Girl, it was family. You know what I'm saying? And you watch out for family. You know what I mean? And it's just like, man, I'm just so hurt. You know, I'm so hurt that she's going. And um, she's truly, truly is going to be missed. Okay. But I did want to let y'all know, you know. It's life. Things happen. Stuff always happen. But if I find out, okay, who really did this to my cat, I'm going to hurt that motherfucker. Whoever it is. Somebody. Nobody ain't going to tell me nothing because like I said, it don't look like an animal attacked her. That, that, that's not what it's giving. Okay? She would have had scratches. She would have had, okay, fur missing. It would have been all of that if she was out there having a cat fight, a fox fight, or whatever. No, some, it looked like somebody reared back and took their foot and bust her whole face open. Her whole face. Her, she was just, her whole face, nose, goddamn mouth area, it, it was just swollen open. All right? So, like I said, y'all, it's always something. I did want to, you know, let y'all know the real reader nation because they always knew about Gurley, especially when I first got her, you know, um, and we rescued her or whatever. I never would have thought that she would go like this. I never would have thought that my cat would have went like this. I mean, if she would have ran away, I would have been good with that. At least, you know, she living, she breathing, she good. But to see her get hurt the way how she got hurt and got beat the way how she got beat. Like, that's just so devastating the way how she went out, you know. So, rest in peace, girl. We, we love you, babe. Here, it's just fucked up, man. You can't have nothing these days. That's just... It's just, you just can't, you know? You just can't have nothing these days. Like I said, nobody is going to feel the way how you're going to feel about your animals, your cat, your dogs, your fishes. And yeah, we get all of that because it's not yours. But no, nobody have to be out here brutally attacking, okay? Nobody's animal. I mean, I'm just trying to see what she could have done that was that bad. She's not a violent cat. She's not a scratchy cat. She's a cool, calm, laid back. Okay, baby making machine here. That's why I always call the you slew footed whore here walking all around here, nigga. You ain't doing nothing, nigga. Keep on getting pregnant. But I miss her, man. I miss her already. I miss her so much. And um, it's just messed up, man. You can't have nothing out here. Not even a goddamn animal here. If I find out, you know, who did it to my cat, I most certainly here will press as many charges, okay, that I could fucking press. But ain't nobody saying nothing, you know. And see, I know her routine, where she walk at, where she stop at, where she, how she come back, how she go back up the road, where she stop in the middle, okay, and then turn back around. I know her whole routine around here, all right. So, like I said, the radius is not that far. So, you know, it'll be some whispers. Hopefully, before I move and get up out of here, I'll find out exactly who did it to her. Yeah. And um, once I do, we'll go from there. You know, 
Rest in peace, girly. You truly will be missed. I'm out, y'all. Here, I did want to share that with y'all so y'all knew what was up. I'm not coming live or anything like that. Like I said, I made a couple of shorts because I had to try to make myself laugh, okay, versus me in here fucking crying and feeling the way how I really, truly feel right now because she didn't deserve that. She ain't deserve that. She was a damn good cat. For somebody who found her, I couldn't have asked for a better fucking cat. You would have thought that I had her from a goddamn baby, all right? Cool, calm, collective, laid, chill, bad ass cat never gave me no damn problems, okay? Anything that cat has ever been was a helpful hand around here. And I'm truly going to be missed. She can't be replaced. It's, it, she just can't be because I don't even deal with cats like that. I only dealt with her. I got her daughter. You know, I'm going to keep her daughter because her, her, her cats, be, you know, they be just like her. You know, so I always, you know, God forbid something happened. I hope not, but I always have something, you know, to remind me, you know, of where the legacy started from. And that would have been from Girlie. I'm so hurt. I did not expect nothing like this, man. I really didn't. And um, to see her go like that, to see her go like that, she didn't deserve that. I gotta go, y'all. Here. Yeah.